Today we're gonna be making a Valentine's Day inspired cake. Now this cake is gonna be a vanilla cake, but it's gonna have a little bit of a twist to it. It's gonna be dyed, dyed colors. The first thing you should do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, you will need some half and half or heavy whipping cream. It's all the same thing. Some vanilla extract, four room temperature eggs or cold, it doesn't really matter. Some white sugar, some measuring cups, two sticks of butter, we're gonna melt them because it's so much easier. Um, some all purpose flour, baking powder, red and pink dye, and some salt. You will also need a hand mixer with the beaters and a mixing bowl. And you're also gonna need two nine inch cake pans if you wanna make it layered. Now you don't have to make it layered if you just wanna use one of them, you can do it. But you kinda have to like cut the recipe in half so you don't have two. Cause this recipe is making for two. So like, then you need two eggs. You'd have to like split everything in half. You need one cup. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. First you will need three cups of flour. Next, you're gonna need a tablespoon of baking powder. Lastly, for the dry ingredients, you will need half a teaspoon of salt. And then, whisk it together. Okay, you are gonna want to put, you're gonna wanna put your butter in a microwave safe bowl and heat it for about four, um, 30 seconds until it's soft because that'll give you your, the soft, fluffy effect. And what we did next was we transferred our butter, our softened butter over into a mixing bowl. And next what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna do one and a half cups of sugar and you're gonna wanna put that in your bowl with your butter. What you're gonna wanna do next, after you have your sugar and softened butter in a mixing bowl, you're gonna wanna beat the butter and sugar together on medium until it's like softened. Once you have your butter um, sugar solution, you're gonna slowly, one by one, beat all of your room temperature eggs into the mixture on medium speed. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna put one tablespoon of vanilla in the mixture and beat that too. Next, you are going to need half a cup of water and you're gonna pour it in like something with a pour spigot so it'll be easy to pour. Half a cup of water and three fourths of a cup of cream. So what you're gonna, once you have your batter, uh, you're gonna want to have your mixer at hand and then you're going to alternate, while you're mixing, you're gonna alternate with pouring in your flour mixture and your um, half and half. And you're, always, and you're gonna wanna start and end with the flour. Sadly, we're only gonna be using one beater today because for some reason, I think the hair made that one break. And um, you didn't see what just happened, uh, but what just happened was uh, Bridget just got her, she was beating our batter and her hair got stuck in one of the beaters and the beater both was- Both of the beaters. Both of the beaters and the beaters were just like dangling from her head. So we had to untangle them and yeah. And this brings a precaution, um, if you, have, um, if you're a person with longer hair, it is suggested to do tie your hair back or a ponytail, a bun, whatever, it all works. Because the same, the same thing could happen to you and it's not a pretty sight. It's not fun, it was a miracle. It was a, that was a Thanksgiving. It was a Valentine's miracle that we could like just snip off a tiny bit of hair and it all came together. All right, so anyway, back to the baking show. Okay, you got your beautiful batter. It's, it looks light, it's not too sweet if you taste it. It's, it's like fluffy. Then you're gonna wanna squeeze a generous amount of red food coloring. You can do this any color, but we're just gonna make it red because it's Valentine-y. You can do it pink, but we're gonna do the frosting pink, so. Yeah, and you're just gonna wanna mix that in. Okay, once you've got your pretty color, it didn't really turn out as a red since it's a white batter, but I'm really happy with the color, aren't you? Yeah. It's like a plummy, it's really pretty. So if you want this color, just put a bunch of red in with what with all we the batter. We used almost all of the tube. We did, we did. We used the whole tube. So, 
it, it'll turn into this unless you got like five tubes, then it should be red. <laughs> but this is a really pretty color, so I'm happy with it. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take another stick of butter. You're not gonna use the whole thing. You're just gonna use the tip. And what you're gonna wanna do is peel the top off, just the top so the top is exposed. And then you're gonna wanna rub the bottom of the pan. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna take a little handful of flour and put a little bit in both. And then just like tap it around and cover the whole thing with flour. And that'll totally prevent it from sticking. And then all you're gonna wanna do is try you just want to eyeball it, but try to get the same amount of cake in each pan. Just pour it in and then give it a little bit to the other and then spread that out till it's flat. Now, after you've got your batter separated and you've flattened it out as best as you can in the pans, it should look approximately the same. You're going to want to put them in the oven. Um, I, there's really no proper time, just till they look golden brown, and you can insert a toothpick and it will come out clean without having batter on it. And remember, if you're doing that, you wanna stick the toothpick in the middle. After your cakes have gotten out of the oven, you're gonna wanna put your cakes in the fridge with clean wrap over them overnight or until they're cool and not warm anymore. And for the decorations and frosting, you are going to need a mixer or spoon, uh, and you're gonna have that on low speed. Uh, you're gonna need a medium mixing bowl, a bread knife to level off the cakes. Um, some raspberries are optional, just to add some flavor to the cake. Um, some milk, you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream some butter, some vanilla extract, um, some powdered sugar, and these are optional. These are tiny little conversation hearts to add to the top to make it look pretty. And sprinkles are also optional, and we're going to be using food dye to make the frosting pink. And you're also gonna need some measuring spoons and cups. And of course, your cakes, and you've got sugar. Okay. What you're gonna wanna do first is add a cup of powdered sugar to your mixing bowl. And you're going to wanna put your butter in a bowl. If it's not already softened, you're gonna wanna put it in a bowl, cut it in half, and place it in the microwave for around 10 seconds. Okay, after you've softened your butter, just tell it seems like it'd be soft enough to mix, you're gonna wanna plop it in the bowl with your powdered sugar and mix on medium. I would suggest starting out on really low so the powdered sugar doesn't go flying everywhere. Okay, after it kind of, it, there might be some chunks of butter, but that'll all come together once you put the vanilla and milk in. But next, you are going to put half a teaspoon of vanilla in the mixture while you're mixing it. And next, you're gonna wanna start with a tablespoon of milk. Um, and if it needs more to make it more creamy and you know more smooth, then you can add more. And keep in mind this is supposed to be kind of like a firm frosting. You want it to form thick peaks, not be too runny, but not be too powdery like that looks. After you have your nice creamy looking frosting, doesn't look too thin, doesn't look too thick, you're gonna want to just, we're using, this is optional, we're using some pink food coloring, but we're just gonna put a little bit in to start with and then we're gonna mix it all together until we find a nice color that we like. Once our frosting is all nice and colorful, we just transferred it into a smaller bowl so we can use this for the whipped cream. I'm just gonna set that aside for later when we frost the cake. Okay, so you want, so just think how, so if you were gonna like lay, if you were gonna stack two cakes, think how much whipped cream would it take and that's how much whipping cream you're gonna put in. You're just gonna whip it for like, yeah, three minutes. Okay, so once you whip your whipped cream and it looks like thick, you're gonna want to set that aside too, just like over here. And now you're gonna wanna level off your cakes and you're gonna wanna use your bread knife and you're just kinda wanna go across the top. Try to stay straight so your cake isn't like indented inside of it. And this top part we are not gonna be using, so you can just go ahead and eat it once it's off. So once you've got your nice level cakes, you're gonna want to take your whipped cream. And so 
Find which one's better. The better one, you're not gonna frost. So this one's a better one in our case. So we're gonna sh like put it to the side, and we're just gonna pick up some whipped cream and spread it on the cake. And if you didn't make enough whipped cream, you could just make more. It's not that hard. It's just cream. Yeah, rewind the video to when we taught you how to make the whipped cream. Once you've got your whipped cream nicely put on, you're gonna want to take your raspberries and just put a couple, spread a couple around. After you have your nice raspberry up cake with the whipped cream, you're gonna want to very carefully flip this part of the cake over on top of this. You want to have the bright um, cake color you want to have it, like, you flip it over and have this part facing down on the raspberry. Once you have your nice patty cake, you're going to want to take your frosting and just spread some frosting around on the sides, on the top. You probably don't want to do too thick of a layer. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a really thin layer at first, and that's called a crumb coat that catches any crumbs. Okay, after you have your crumb coat, this is gonna wanna go pretty generous on this top layer, because this is the actual, this is what's gonna look pretty. So after your cake is frosted on um, two layers, it might still look crummy, and that's fine. You're gonna wanna take your candy hearts and sprinkles. We're just gonna put the candy hearts just around the cake. Okay, once you've decorated your cake however you want, we put sprinkles, candy hearts on the bottom and all around. I think it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I and this is nice. this is how this is how your cake should look. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you're gonna enjoy your nice, beautiful cake. cake. Bye. Bye. Thank you.